Here's my review on the uh, Trick or Treat Studios doll on the left and the Swervo Studios doll on the right. Now the reason why there's two Swervo Studios dolls is because one is just a rag doll, has no possibility, and the other could pose however you really want them to pose. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Trick or Treat Studios doll. Now, let's look at his face. Great paint job, great vinyl. I'm happy with the eyes. Um, this looks more just like a basic doll. I'm actually naming him Oscar because he looks like Oscar from the commercial. You know, hi, I'm Oscar. His head does move 360. Now, I've seen a lot of people that got their dolls and their hair looks pretty shitty. I'm happy mine doesn't look that bad. I kind of fixed it. But the placement of the wig is not that good. But this doll's 500 bucks, guys, and I think it's, you know, it's worth the money, you know, if you can't afford a custom-made doll. Now, the best part about this doll, I would say, is the corduroys. They really knocked it out of the park with this one. I'm not happy with the good guy patch. I've already contacted them about it, and um, they said they really can't help me because it's a mass-produced item. This is a knitted fabric, or made to look knitted. Now, I had to stretch it out a little bit because it was skin tight. And this doll's arms are really skinny. I'm not really happy about that either. This doll also has an armature, but since it's foam, it can't really, it has a, a limit. If I keep going, I'm scared I'll, I could tear it. As when I got the doll, it already had a tear under the right arm, which I've contacted them about and hopefully they could help me with that too. Now, the shoes are excellent. Um, not really a fan of the laces. And you can see it has socks. And here's the foam body. I'm going to show you these guys naked too, by the way, so you can see the difference between the dolls. And I can show you the tear on this doll. I don't think the uh, foam is going to hold on too long with this doll if you guys take it out and play with it. So I think you should just keep it at home and pose it. I think the foam eventually will start deteriorating and breaking this doll is about five pounds maybe six um and it comes with a box now the box is cool too it has a screen like child's play but it's not the right size which i'm not really happy about but i mean come on guys 500 bucks get a doll in the box quit your bitching i kind of give them props for doing all this for such a cheap price all right so that's the trick or treat doll. Now I'm going to show you Swervo Studios doll. Next. <coughs> Here's the Swervo Studios doll. Now this is their version 2, which has the eyelids. Now this doll has more, I would say, life. Like if you look at the eyes, like I just. I don't know what they do, but it just looks awesome. I love the blush on the face. If you look at the dolls in the box, and they're not supposed to look too plain how the Trick or Treat Studios looks, but I feel like they do a really good job on the paint. The hair is actually from the Child's Play movies where they got the hair for the Child's Play movies, so it's pretty much screen accurate compared to the Trick or Treat doll, which is lighter. Now, the overalls on their doll is velvet. It's not corduroy. The patch is on, right? The logo is actually the way the logo is supposed to look. If you guys look at the logo, it's supposed to look like this. I don't know why they went with a bubbly font on the Trick or Treat doll. I really don't know why and don't like it, but <coughs> this is the correct logo. Uh, this feels better material. It looks better in pictures. Um, it makes the little logo stand out more. I really love it. Of course, if it was corduroy, you know, it'd be awesome, but it's, it's velvet, kind of like suede -ish, uh, and then the sweater, it's kind of like a jersey. I used to have, a a knitted fabric, just like a trick-or-treat one, but... 
I've noticed that uh, the lines weren't the way they were supposed to look and the size were, if you look at the size on these, that's not the right size for the stripes on the sweater. This is the correct size. Now the cuffs I like on this doll. On this doll, I feel like they're too big. Now the shoes on my Squirrel Studios doll are beat up. I take this doll everywhere and these aren't the shoes um, that I normally have on the doll, but they're on for the review. And I might post a video of the new shoes when I receive them. The laces are a lot better and then the shoes are made of like some kind of rubber. Those are just vinyl and hard. The laces are too short and uh, I don't feel like they have a, I don't feel like they have a, compare them. The, the length on these laces is longer. Those are short. And I feel like they have like the good guy logo like three times versus look at all this. It goes all the way up to the actual tip of the laces which I love. Uh, the back of the doll. See the hair, it's just, it's great. And what's awesome about this doll is he could pose however you want him to. Like, he could really do, he's really, <laughs> he's acrobatic. I can't do this with Trick or Treat Studios because of the foam. The foam stops me, you know, from posing him however I want. Uh, If you look, I could I could do anything I want with him, really. I could even make him look like a rag doll. So, yeah, there's this guy. And let me show you the rag doll. Rag body doll, which is, it's just a rag body. There's no skeleton in it. And again, with the hair, their hair is awesome. So, I mean, you get what you pay for. Uh, this was my first doll. And this was my second. And it's funny, because I actually ordered my Trick or Treat doll before these two. But, you know, I guess they finally got it going. And I barely got it. I feel like Trick or Treat doll's too skinny. These have more... Uh, More of a real feel. So I'm gonna show you them naked next. You cut it now. This is the naked dolls. I'm gonna start with the trick or treat doll. Put you down real quick. So this doll's made of foam. Uh, as you can see, there's a little tear here. And that's how it came. With these little tears here. So I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like this foam's not gonna last. Here's a tear on the arm, guys. This is how I got my doll, which pissed me off. Um, you know, you can't really see it with the clothes, but I felt it, you know, different. So I had to check it out for myself. That's why I'm scared to put this arm up any higher because I don't want to rip it. All right, so there's a tear. As you can see, it also feels like the head could pop off the phone, but I, I don't think it will. It has a little butt right there. Another little hole, I don't know what that's for, maybe for the mold. Now, the hands, the face. This is the only vinyl part of the doll. Everything else is foam. Even the foot, if we take off the sock. The foot is just foam. Okay. It's the first time I look at the foot. But I felt it and I knew it was not a foot. Which is fine. You know, I don't care. But that's what I'm showing you the differences between the two dolls and the detail they both have. So there's this one. When I sit him. That's what he looks like when you sit him. Kind of looks like a midget. I'm not digging it. <laughs> so he looks better with clothes on. Now. <laughs> wow. 
we'll, we'll cut that out. The Swirl Studios doll has stuffing and the material is more flexible to allow it to pose however you want. What's up guys? And I'm not scared to tear this one because it's, I mean, you have to really try to tear it. It's kind of like a Cabbage Patch body, I would say. And then the socks are higher, which I like. And if you take the sock off, because people like, I don't know why, to know if it has feet or not. It has feet, it has toes, <laughs> it has, and there's even detail on it, you know, the color and the paint. So that's why the shoes for this doll are flexible because it has to fit a foot. I like to put the laces knee high, the laces, the socks, sorry. So yeah, this is the naked body of the Sorrel Studios doll. That's it.